Hey, welcome back coaches, athletes, and sports fans. Coach Michael Fields uh, on Instagram, Michael K. Fields on Twitter, and you can email me at coachmichaelfields at gmail.com. Continuing the conversation today on coaching 101, and we're looking at episode four here and just management, right? Uh, you know, I could probably do a, a long uh, couple hours lecture on this. Uh, you know, it's my day-to-day -day teaching uh, life is management. Uh, but I'm trying to really be specific to coaching and really, you know, kind of athletes understanding where coaches are at and what they're doing and parents also and sports fans in general of what it takes to kind of be a coach and what it means to manage things. And so, you know, I, we talked already about philosophy in Coaching 101. We talked about leadership. Leadership and management are often uh, intertwined. Uh, but they are separate things. Um, you know, they're, they're completely different of ways of doing things. Some coaches are great leaders and they're the ones motivating their athletes and they're the ones setting the vision and they're the ones, you know, uh, doing all that. But then there's always a, a, you know, a coach somewhere on the staff probably and, and sometimes on a, a, you know, a youth team or, or a smaller school, smaller budget teams. Uh, you know, the, there's one, maybe two coaches and so you got to do it all. So management by this is kind of that overall team management. Um, we're going to talk, you know, managing fundraising and other outside activities, kind of what we do preseason, in season, and post season, and just generally your time, right? How do you make best use of your time? Okay, so so this is kind of coaching and, and how to manage things. Um, you know, so overall team management. This can be everything from player selection, uh, player rotation, subs. Uh, making sure you have everybody there with the logistics when it you know the next episode we're going to get into operations and really drill into that but overall team management what I mean by that is um, kind of building that team you know if you're a school team you know you got the athletes to come out for the program right um, if you're a travel team you're probably holding tryouts okay and even some school ball teams you know we're, we're holding tryouts for different sports um, if you're a youth team you're just getting what you get right and you're gonna have to manage that, right? You're gonna have different personalities, you're gonna have different skill abilities, you're gonna have different parents, you're gonna have different obstacles basically to, to, to deal with. And so just, just knowing those things are coming and just overall how to deal with it, have that game plan, right? That's set out with that leadership, that vision, that purpose that we talked about with our philosophy of coaching. So just know that there's this general overall team management, right? And um, Management to me is, is that day-to-day, -day, um, you know, week-to-week, season-to-season thing where leadership is that more broad uh, motivation, followership, um, you know, communication, authenticness, transparency. So management are all those things as well. But, you know, in that overall team management, what we're doing is we're trying to just manage the team. Uh, we're fundraising for a school team or a youth team. How do we manage that? Do we appoint a parent? Do we have somebody else do it? Or are we doing it ourselves? Preseason. How are we conditioning? How are we weightlifting? How are we doing those things, right? Um, in season. How do we maintain the health of our athletes? Managing contact hours. Managing the legs. Managing arms of pitchers and throwers. And then postseason. How do we follow up? How do we end the season? You know, a celebratory dinner. Or something like that how do we end our season and start to look for next year and then just in general our time right most of us as coaches we have other jobs and so we're doing other things we have to find time to coach I find usually when I wake up in the morning you know I go work out and then I've got some time as I eat breakfast to get ready for my day I typically get an idea of my coaching and my work day kind of at that point I'm answering emails getting messages thinking oh at lunch I need to shoot this message to my team after work, I need to make sure I do this so that we're ready for practice. Um, I'm going to put my, my uh, game plan and my practice plan together at the end of my work day before I go to practice. Um, if I've got assistant coaches I share that with, I'm going to shoot that over to them you know, about an hour ahead of time, make sure they got time to, to look that over as well. Uh, sometimes I'll even call them and say, hey, I, I got the practice plan to you. Here's this drill I want you to run tonight. Make sure that they know what they're doing so when you show up to practice, we don't have to take a lot of time with that. We're kind of geared for that so that's that time management taking care of yourself like I said I, I try to hit the gym a few times a week you know go for runs go for bike rides whatever it is clear my head stay physically fit so when I'm asking my athletes to do something you know I'm also willing to put in that work as well so that's the overall you know kind of management as a coach there's a lot more again we could spend hours on this days weeks on this 
Um, so that overall team management of how we put the team together, how we kind of conduct business on a regular basis, expectations, fundraising, you know, and, and other outside events. It could be fundraising, team dinners, team events. You know, I'm just throwing fundraising out because that's kind of a youth through, you know, high school level event we have to do. How we take care of our athletes in the preseason, how we communicate with them in the preseason, we got to have a plan for that, right? Hey guys, we're always going to, you know, once a month, once every couple months, don't forget. My big thing preseason, postseason, to keep them ready, I encourage them to play other sports. I'm a multi-court multi-sport coach I, I like athletes that play multiple sports you know football players that wrestle football players play basketball play baseball run track swim you know I want them to play multiple sports to keep their bodies in shape and then you know that month or so before the particular season we're going into we start to gear them up specifically with conditioning weightlifting you know whatever it may be to get them ready for that postseason same thing a little bit of rest hey we're gonna lift weights now but if you're in this sport go concentrate on that sport right that's kind of how I manage that just our general time, planning our days, our weeks, putting that calendar out from day one. This is our preseason. This is our in season. These are our schedules of games. And this, you know, the days we're in now, those can fluctuate. And then this is our end of season and kind of what we plan on doing after that. So thanks for watching, guys. This is Coach Michael Fields, Coaching 101, talking coaching management, sports management in general. Uh, appreciate if you guys like, subscribe, and share the video. Comment below if there's something you want to watch and uh, get a hold of me um, and let me know what you think. Appreciate it.